this opened 1927 as a silent film theatre. Um, so when it opened, there was no sound. There was 800 seats in here. Now there's only 250. Um, the screen would be painted on the back wall. Um, we had an orchestra pit when it first opened, which is still there. What do you like about the cinema? This cinema in particular, or cinema as gen in general? What do you like about Waltz and Picture House? And as I say, it's one of the originals, as a cinema should be. We have curtains, as you can see. Uh, multiplexes don't have them, so the illusion's gone before you even start. And that's the whole idea of them. Uh, mainly I started over 40 odd years ago in the cinema, so it's uh, it's part of your life really. So spend more time in the cinema than you do at home. Um, and as I say, it's one of the originals. What do you imagine is going to happen to Walton Picture House in the future? That's all down to the public. If the public supports the cinema, it will stay open. There's only the public that will keep it open. And a lot of public don't understand that part of it. The public don't come. The, the cinema will go like all the rest. It's such a shame to see it close. That's why all the others went. And how's it been recently? Has it been busy or? Um, Does it depend like what day it, it is? It all depends on the film. I'm solely down to the film. You can be full, sending people away, or you can be almost empty. Mickey Mouse in the all-new animated featurette, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Do you think that the picture house itself, like, attracts people? Like, they're, they like the idea of, like, an old cinema as opposed to... They like do, stuff. especially at Christmas, because it has the atmosphere where the multiplexes don't have an atmosphere as such. Mm -hmm. um, but this Christmas time, we have our Christmas movies on, we're full for each one. Um, so it does quite well at Christmas with old Christmas movies. It's over 70 years old. Uh, they can actually do more than a brand new film sometimes. <laughs> The warm, lovable cartoon feature, Lady and the Trap. And now we are proud to present highlights of the next Jubilee film coming to this theatre. Um, how did the traditional reels of the film move to digital screening over the past three years? Uh, the 35mm moved fairly quickly once it started. Um, into digital, the uh, film distributors started cutting back on the 35mm reels and as they cut back the prices for them went up um, from say £700 a print to over a couple of thousand and it's a lot cheaper for a £30 hard drive to get reused so films nowadays do come on hard drives but there is some directors that are still doing things on film Is the old picture house an important part of the community, do you think? I would say so, yeah. We have our own audience uh, and they come to see what we would call a rooting picture. Um, so that's the kind of stuff we, you wouldn't really come to see if it was made for multiplexes, which a lot of them are nowadays. Yeah. So, um, I'd say there used to be over 100 cinemas on Merseyside and there's only two of the originals still open. So it's quite a lot gone. That's such a shame. It's Disney's Diamond Jewish. Six days spot. 
thousand years of the best in Pally Entertainment. Continues great tradition of fantasy, of escape, high adventure, of optimistic drama, and building on our history of innovation, originality, craftsmanship, and technical.